नायक सिंह सैनी ईश्वर की शब्द लेता हूँ अनिल विज ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूँ मैं नरवीर सिंह ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूँ आय श्रुति चौधरी डू स्वेर इन द नेम ऑफ गॉड आरती सिंह राव ईश्वर की शपथ लेती हूँ I am Pradeep Sharma, joined by my colleague Gitanjali Gyatri, the VIP studied swearing in ceremony of Naya Singh Saini Ministry just got over with a host of VIPs, NDA partners, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi participating in the ceremony. Gitanjali, can we have a recap of the the cabinet ministry swearing swearing in? Who who were what what were the order of precedent in that? So, uh, you know, first of all, all cabinet berths have been full. Yeah. So there, there can be 14 uh, ministers, including the chief minister. And uh, we have no vacancy anymore in yeah. the Naib uh, Singh Saini government. The break of, can we have the break of yeah. cabinet minister and minister of state? So we have 11 uh, cabinet ministers and two ministers of state with independent charge, which means they are practically junior cabinet ministers, so to say. So, uh, uh, what is the order of president? Who was the first to take oath after the chief minister? Chief minister, you know, the OBC phase of the BJP who led the party to a splendid hat trick uh, in the in the Hirana elections. Who was the second? Who who, who was? Uh, who uh, took the Anil Vij, as expected, is the senior most amongst the cabinet ministers. He took oath today uh, as the uh, he's the first to take oath today. Yeah, Anil Vij, I, I remember uh, he 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 threw his hat in the ring for the CM post also. Can you elaborate on a bit on? So you know he Anil has uh, he's always had this rebel kind of image within the party also. And when Nayab Singh Saini was sworn in the first time in March this year, he he stepped down from the cabinet positions obviously upset that he was the senior most and he should have been considered. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday, during the legislature party meeting, he was the one who was asked to propose Naib Seni's name. Yeah, 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 so yeah, that yeah. is that is one way of the that, party that, that, showing that, that they are that, united that, that, and there's that, no that difference under, of that, opinion. That, that, that party which was held under uh, Union Home Minister yeah. Am Amit Shah's uh, uh, supervision, uh, in which we uh, proposed that means he virtually left the, uh, the his yeah. claim on the CM. Uh, no, they how, sank uh, their differences basically, yeah, what, what, and they have the, come out. What are the other stalwarts? Which so, you know is a Punjabi. You mean, yeah. any, uh, what are the other caste combinations uh, in the cabinet we have? So uh, we have uh, uh, Krishan Pal. Uh, okay, Pawar, who Krishan took Lal Pawar. He's the, huh, Krishan, the Dalit, Dalit yeah. face of the party. He is the yeah. Dalit face of the party. He he was the Rajya Sabha member. Uh, he resigned only uh, uh, last week yeah. to be sworn in as minister yeah, we have here. Another, I think, and uh, face, uh, Krishan, Krishan Bedi, yeah. Krishan Bedi yeah. is yeah. another face. Then we have Rao Narbir. He he is basically from the anti Rao Indrajit camp, and he's been sworn in as minister. Mm -hmm. Then we have Mahipal Dhanda, who's a Jat. We have Vipul Goyal representing the uh, traders community. We have Arvind Sharma. Who is a Brahman? Uh, the veteran, uh, two-time uh, MP and three-time MLA, yeah. Arvind Sharma, who won from Bohana. You know the Jatland, Bohana. Uh, BJP got quite a number of seats in the Jatland. Then what's the next? Then we the have uh, Sham Singh Rana. We have Ranveer uh, so Gangwa. Sham Singh Rana, the Rajput face of the of the party in the GT Road belt, uh, one from Radar, amidst uh, even stiff, stiff opposition from the BJP rebels. Yeah. We have Krishan Bedi. He he's been a close confidant of uh, yeah, Qatar, but, but, yeah, and he, now he Nirvana, he's yeah, new yes. For him. He is uh, he was shifted to Nirvana just before the election, and he won from there. Then we have two dynasts in the cabinet now. Yeah, we have he, Kiran Chaudhary's yeah, daughter yeah, Kiran Shruti Chaudhary. That's, that's Chaudhary. very interesting because Kiran Chaudhary was nominated to Rajya Sabha, and her her daughter was given the ticket from her traditional uh, uh, seat. To Sham, can you elaborate on on this very surprising? So just before the elections. Uh, owing to differences with uh, Congress uh, leader Bhupinder Singh Hooda, uh, Kiran Chaudhary and her daughter quit the Congress after an association of nearly four decades. So and shifted to 
the BJP and here immediately uh, Kiran Chaudhary was uh, made Rajya Sabha member and Shruti was uh, Shruti contested the assembly mm, elections. Yeah, 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 one, and in fact, she, was, she won against uh, uh, her cousin Anirudh, yeah. Anirudh another dynasty. Then, then you have another dynasty, the very very powerful uh, uh, leader Rao. of Ahi, Ahi, Rao, daughter of Rao Indarjit, who virtually won the Ahirwal. Two, two, yeah. two big strongholds for the BJP, Ahirwal and the GT Road, which virtually account for half of BJP seats uh, uh, a bit on, 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 on Aditi Rao. Oh, sorry, Arti Rao. Arti Rao. So uh, this was a close contest and she won only in the last round. Earlier she was trailing. So, and uh, with this, you know, uh, with getting her a cabinet rank, it has just kind of made uh, Rao Indrajit more powerful within the Haryana uh, state also. Mm. The next, uh, then we have two ministers of state, Rajesh Nagar and uh, Gaurav Gautam. Gaurav Gautam incidentally defeated uh, yeah, Congress, Congress Talwar Karan Singh Dalal. Karan new, Singh new, new face of the BJP. Yeah. Uh, the Brahman face rather, new face, Brahman yeah. face of the BJP. Then we have Ranveer Gangoa, I think the cabinet minister. Yeah. He, he, he was the deputy speaker. He is deputy speaker, he is a powerful OBC leader. So, uh, uh, winning from a new constituency, he was uh, uh, earlier uh, MLA from uh, uh, Nalwa and he was shifted to Barwala. And it's a, it's a tremendous, tremendous performance for then, the entire ceremony lasted, I think, about 40 minutes or so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after the uh, Prime Minister came in. Earlier there was this mood of celebration all around. Mm, there were holes nah. beating, yeah, people yeah, raising was, slogans. I think, I, I think it was early Diwali for the BJP. Yeah. That the Panjkula township in Chandigarh's periphery, the joint capital of Punjab and Haryana, which wore a festival look. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, cultural troops dancing, knives and singing, mingling yeah. with the crowd. All along, a, all was, the roads had saffron yeah, flags yeah, with lotus and a lot of, lot of traffic jam, VIP movements. But people thronged in thousands to this this to venue. To attend this, this ceremony, uh, this is the the Shara ground in in Panchkula's uh, heart, the Shara ground, which is a big venue for any rally, but BJP was, I think, early, early Diwali. So how, how was the people, people, I think, from the all walk uh, was, across, the, across the state, yes, state came in? There was yeah. this near stampede at all of the gates yeah, yeah. because there wasn't enough space and lots of supporters coming in. Yeah. So then, uh, you mean, after the ceremony, uh, the, the NDA, NDA virtually putting up a show of strength ahead, yeah. of, ahead of these three uh, crucial assembly elections in Maharashtra, Jharkhand and Delhi. Though NDA leaders are uh, incidentally me, set to meet uh, in the afternoon around 3 o'clock to what we talk about a number of issues like uh, even the their strategy for the for the new assembly uh, for the for the forthcoming assembly elections. Uh, plus there would be a lot of uh, the the event is uh, of course not open to the media, but they will strategize their 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 strategy for the coming elections. Uh, so a lot of uh, uh, almost chief ministers from almost. Uh, 16, 18, states. 18, 18 states and their deputies from almost 15, uh, 14, 15 states coming beside a number of union ministers. One CM also uh, from a UT also is here. Yeah, yeah, one, one UT, yeah. And a number of BJP senior ministers like former Chief Minister Manolal Khattar, Rao Indarjeet, uh, Yogi Adityanath, which incidentally won a lot of applause. Then we have uh, the Maharashtra CM, Ekana Sinde. Other VIP leaders, uh, they they virtually wowing the crowd here. So, uh, yeah. any other thing, Gitanjali, you want to add about the ceremony? Because this is a this is a, I think the no, second a... second time in, in in ten years that Panjikula is hosting such a ceremony. Yeah. Earlier, when Khattar, uh, when Khattar, Khattar took yeah. oath, I attended that yeah. ceremony also. So it wasn't this, this huge. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this time is, they have made a grand, grand show of the grand, entire. So they, they are naturally, they, they, I think BJP deserves uh, a credit for that. But this is the for best, a hat trick uh, best, in best, the best, state. Um, best ever performance by the BJP, winning 48 of the 90 seats. They, mind you, they contested only 89 seats, leaving the Sirsa seat to Gopal Kanda, who lo incidentally lost the elections. But this is the best ever performance by the BJP. Uh, uh, polling a little less than 40% votes, winning 38 seats, forming a government. And this is the first, mind you, the first uh, government who has completed two full terms and won the third term in Haryana's history. 
सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट हरियाणा वोटेड फॉर हैट्रिक फॉर अ फुल टर्म दिस इज प्रदीप शर्मा फ्रॉम पंचकूला अलॉन्ग विद माई कॉलीग गीतांजलि गयात्री एंड वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट अर्पित रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम द ट्रिप्यून थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग